Hey, what's up? I am Tron Moses of Tron Moses Media. And today I just wanted to show y'all a few photos from photographers who work inspires me. And since there's so many photos, I won't be giving too much commentary, too much talking. We going, I'm gonna show y'all and we are gonna move on to the next. I picked five photographers and I picked 10 photos from each photographer. So we're gonna be looking at actually 50 photos, y'all. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so our first photographer is gonna be a woman by the name of Yulia Lepeshkina. And as I say names, you're gonna see them at the bottom to get see the correct spelling in case you wanna look anybody up that I mentioned on here. And we're gonna kinda go through photos and I'm gonna show y'all 10 dope photos that I picked from them. All right, here's one. And we're gonna keep it moving. She has beautiful photos. That's why I chose I chose her to be a part of this. And I plan on doing this, doing this maybe once a month. Photographers who work inspires me. Photographers who have dope work. Yeah, because I love her work. And one of the things I notice about her work is her framing is dope. I love the retouching. I love the contrast. I love when she take pictures of trees, the trees are not overly green, like you see in some people's photos. Let me tell you, when I see two, the photos, the trees too green, like right here, this is just right. When I see stuff too green, it irritates me. It irritates my eyes. But what I love about this photo right here, I love how the, 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 uh, the, the hair, the hair is working with the green. All right, I love this photo. I love the scenery. Love that she's how she how she's framed the dress, all of that. Another beautiful photo. All right, so that is Yulia the Peshkina, and we're gonna go to the next person, and we're gonna just gonna keep it moving like that because I'm gonna be honest with you. I did this video already, and I stopped for each photo and gave commentary for each photo, and the video was pretty long. We were pushing an hour because I was explaining what I loved about each photo and we ain't got time for that today. All right, so the next photographer we going to, y'all probably heard of before because he has a big channel on YouTube. We're going to Sales Chung. All right, we're looking at Sales Chung work. Sales Chung is a dope photographer. I love how he shoots. I love his compositions. I love... Uh, the sharpness of his images. He shoots with phase one. This right here is really a dope photo. Loving it. Oh man, that is nice right there. That's nice right there. So we're looking at 10 photos from each photographer. This is nice. That's dope right there. This one is one I really liked, really liked. So I had to include it. You know, trying to break each uh, photographer's uh, photos down. I made folders and trying to break it down to 10 each photographer was really hard. I love this this framing. I wonder which lens he shot this with. Cause I know he got a 120, he got a, a 135. He shoots with uh, leaf shutter lenses. This is dope. Nice. Love the lighting. All right, so that's Sales Chung. Let's go on to the next photographer. Happy y'all, because I wasn't moving like this in the last video. I was talking and explaining things and breaking it down, but I don't want to put out a long video because people don't know how to watch long videos no more. Everything is shorter now. Movies, I'm telling you, movies going to go from 90 minutes to a half an hour watch. You go go to a movie and watch a movie for a half an hour. Anyway, let me tell you real quick why I like this photo. I love how the shirt and the pants are blending with the sky. This is a nice photo. So anyway, this, this photo is by, these photos are by Payman. Uh, what is Payman last name? I'll put it on the screen. This, is, this stuff is by Payman. It's a dope photographer. I love the retouching on this. 
I love this photo. I love the framing and everything about it. This is one, oh man, it was hard to uh, nail down some of these because she had a bunch of photos with sheep and I couldn't get everyone in here because I had to get other stuff in here from payment. But I love that. All right, these are all payment photos and we are gonna go on to the next person. Just showing y'all some dope photographers. Payman Karam. Payman Karam. All right, we moving this time. We weren't moving this fast last time. All right, this time we going to Sales Chung. I mean, sorry, y'all. We went to Sales Chung. This time we going to Moose Chan. All right. But on the photos, on a lot of the photos, you'll see it says Moose Moose. But this is Moose Chan. This is a dope photo right here. Nice. Loving the colors. This is a composition which you'll see later. She's actually sitting on a table. It's a dope composition. This is nice, like she's floating. Nice, look like the fox looking up at her, it's dope. Ooh, the colors right here. The colors right here is awesome. All right, see down there? She's sitting on the table, got a light behind her, and look like three lights in front of her. I love this. I love the lamps. I love the colors in the photo. This is nice. Composition is nice. All right, that's dope, too. Look at the fall colors. Look at the dress. Look at the framing. I feel like the framing is perfect. Uh-oh, she caged inside herself. I don't know, do that mean she crazy? I don't know what that meant. This is the last photo. Let me tell you what I love about this photo. Now, I don't want to stay on photos too much, but I love how she's lit. Now, notice this. I love how she's lit. I love the white dress. I love the flowing veil. I love that. I love when you look inside the door, there's a light coming from inside the door. Then you look to the left, look on the tree, look on the flower right here. There's light, you could tell there's light on that. Then when you look to the right of the picture, down the street, you see the street lights all down there. I'm loving all of this in the sky and it's all coming together, making a beautiful marriage like some cooked food. I'm telling you, it's dope. All right, we got one more photographer. And this is actually Mises Studios. I think is, is actually more than one photographer. The name is Mises because it stands for me and Jesus. All right, so here we go. Dope. Look like it's a side of his jacket at the bottom. Look at that. They do dope work. Love the composition, love the sky, love the colors. Grass not overly green. It looks normal. Love their framing. Their, their uh, photos look rich. Love that look. Love that. Love the lighting on the family and the lighting on the black. It's just, it's just coming together. Yeah, look at that. Look at the retouching on her skin. Look at the retouching on her hair. It's all working. Yep, this is an engagement photo right here, though. Look at this. You got the mother, the father, the sisters, and the brother. This is dope. The retouching and lighting on all of them, it all came together. Love this. Love the red popping right there. Now look, the reason I grabbed this photo is, and this is the last photo. The reason I grabbed this photo is because I love how the red is working with the sky. That's dope. That red is working with the sky. Let me tell you something. I took a model to the beach one time and I told her to wear a red dress because I wanted the red. And I didn't see this photo, but I already know red going to work with blue. So I told her to wear red. Now, some days before the photo shoot, I, I contacted her. I said, let me see your outfit. She never showed me the outfit. Get to the beach. She comes with a, a orange outfit on. So I said, oh, that's why you ain't show me your outfit. She started laughing because she knew she knew what, was, what she was doing. So really, I edited it. I was, I was upset with that whole photo shoot because let me tell you something. Photographer tell you what he's looking for? When a, This was my shoot. 
This wasn't her shoe. Photographer tell you what he's looking for? If you can't come the way the photographer dressed the way the photographer wants, then let him know that. Because she wasn't the first person I talked to about that shoot. It's just that she was ready to do it before the other per people I spoke to. So I went with her. Because one thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna wait around on nobody. If I talk to you about doing something and you dragging your feet that somebody else come along and I talk to them about doing it and they ready, hey, I'm gonna go with them. But just turns out that, you know, and, and that's for models. You know, if any models watching this video, if a photographer, he has a vision for his shoot and he wants to do it a certain way, abide by what he's saying because this is his vision for his shoot. My vision for the shoot wasn't an orange dress, but I done went all the way off, but I, I, I would never shoot her again. And we don't have beef or nothing, it's no problem. I would just, I wish her the best. But anyway, I love, I'm loving this. I'm loving this photo, loving the contrast, loving the sharpness, loving the lighting, loving the red, loving the blue. It's all working together and making a beautiful marriage, I'm telling you. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoy some of the photographers that I like. I plan on doing at least five every month. And I'm gonna try to narrow, try to narrow their work down to 10 photos. Let me tell you, it's not the easiest task because there's so many photos. I have I had 24 photos in one person's folder. And I was like, man, I can't show y'all all that stuff because I want everything to be even. Like, even though there's no competition between all the photographers, I wanted to show you the same amount from each photographer. So this is the type of stuff that I like. I hope y'all liked it too. I hope y'all look them up. I have all their names here. But anyway, I am Tron Moses of Tron Moses Media, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm done. I'm out.